You can send for free up to 2,000 marketing emails with a HubSpot free account. And I'm sure that you already know that sending marketing emails is one of the best ways to generate business. So in this video, I will show you everything you need to start sending marketing emails for free with HubSpot. And to do that, we need to go on my computer. Just before we start, if you don't have an HubSpot account right now, it's not a problem. You can create and use HubSpot for free. And if you want to create your account, you can click in the first link in the description. Then you will be on this page. And all you need to do is to click here on get free CRM. Then you will be on this page, create your free account. You can sign up with Google, Microsoft, or an Apple account, or you can use your email account address and the good part is of course it's free but you don't need to put your credit card to start using HubSpot for free. So that being said it's time to check how to use email marketing on HubSpot. All right so we are currently on HubSpot and now the first thing I want to show you is how to set up properly your marketing email settings. If you want to do that you go on top here and you click on settings then you scroll a little bit and you want to go here in marketing and then email. So let's do that. All right, so here in configuration, what we want to do is to set up our footer. And basically the footer is the text that will be at the end of each of your emails. And you need to add your address to be compliant with the laws related to the anti-spam. And in Europe, for example, you need it to be GDPR compliant. So you need to write your company name, address, city, state, and that's all. So I will do it quickly and then you will see concretely how it appears in our email. Now, once it's completed, you click on save. And here, as I told you, when you do that, you're about to update your default footer. And these changes will be reflected in all emails that use this footer. So basically it will be at the bottom of all your emails. So let's click on confirm. And now we have our footer here, give me this and so on, which is perfect. So now double opt-in might be useful if you have some problems with the deliverability of your emails. But for now, let's say that we don't need that. Now subscription types is very useful because you can select the types of email you want to send. And it's useful, for example, when someone went to unsubscribe, they click on unsubscribe at the bottom of your email and then they can say, I want to unsubscribe from marketing information, but at least they don't unsubscribe for all your emails. So for this tutorial, I want to show you something specific and I need to create a subscription type. So here the language is English, subscription name, new videos, and now the description, get an email when a new video is released on YouTube, for example. Advance, we don't care, and preview, we don't care. And now we just need to click on create to create our first subscription type. Now I have three subscription types and that's perfect. On this page tracking, you can say that you want to track email opens, track clicks. You can track everything related to your domain, source tracking, and so on. But I recommend you to keep things like this, except if you have some problems with the deliverability of your emails, just turn this off. So you won't be able to track if someone opens your email and track the clicks in your email, but it will help you to get better results for your deliverability. So you can just turn it off if you have some problems with the deliverability of your emails. But for this tutorial, I will keep this as on and same here. Now that you have the perfect setup to use marketing emails in HubSpot, it's time to see how to create your first email. So if you want to create an email in HubSpot, you have to go here on the left, you go on this tab marketing and you click on email. So this is on this page where you will manage your marketing email. With the HubSpot free account, you can send up to 2000 emails per month. Here on this screen, you can manage your marketing email. If you go and analyze, this is where you have all the data of the performance of your emails, like open rate, click rate, click through rate, reply rate, and so on. And of course, everything related to the deliverability 
of your emails. So you have delivered rates, outbounce rate, unsubscribe rate, and spam report rate. So it's very important to track this because you want to be in the inbox of your leads and not in the spam folder. Now here on health, you have even more data to track your sending reputation in HubSpot. So you have a lot of data, you might see some recommendations and so on, but for now, let's say that we don't need that. All right, so let's go back on the screen. So here we have the views so we have all emails draft scheduled sent or a child and here you can use some filters now if you want to create an email you have to go here on the top right of your screen you click on create email and here you say that it's a regular email so we click on regular on this page you can select a template so you have a lot of templates you can use, but for this tutorial, I will start from scratch. So I will use this one. So choose a template. So this is on this page where we will create our email, design it, put some colors and so on. And then we will be able to choose to who we want to send this email. And finally, at the end, send the email. So on the middle of my screen, I have the email I want to write. And on the left part of my screen, this is the options I have to edit my email. How it works, it's pretty easy. It's basically drag and drop. So you have here modules and sections. So sections, let's say that I want something very simple. I don't want any columns in my email. So I select one. I just drag it and then drop. And then here I can put some content in it. If you move your cursor, you will see that we have one section, two sections, and the last one is here. At the end of my email, I have send free email today, HubSpot. And basically because we are using the HubSpot free plan, we can't remove it because if I click here, I will be redirected to this page where I need to pay. So for now, I will keep it like this. Here we have the footer that we've just created. And here on top, I have a section where I can drop content here. So let's say that I want to add some text in it. I have to go here in modules. Then I select text. I just drag it and release. And now, as you can see, I have my first block of text. Now here on the left part of my screen, I can edit my module. And basically it's a text module. So I have everything I need to edit my text module. So here, for example, visibility, I can say that I only want to display this block here, this text block here for a desktop, for example. So I click on show and for mobile, I can say hide and it won't be displayed in the mobile. But for now, let's say that we don't care. And now padding is when you want to add some space. So for example, here from the top, I want to have more space and I can increase the space between the text and the top of my module. So let's put 20. Perfect. Now, if I want to edit the text, it's very simple. I just click somewhere and then I can write what I want. I've just returned, this is a good email. Of course, I can put it in bold, italic. I can underline the text, change the text color. I can align the text if I want, create bullet point and choose line height and so on. Of course, you can insert a link and you can modify the size of your text for example, 20 pixels. So basically with this example, you see that it's very easy to edit the text. It works exactly the same way as when you write, for example, an email in Gmail or in Microsoft Word and so on. So don't worry when you create an email, you won't face any problems when you want to edit your email. Now that you know how to use the email builder, I want to show you a concrete example of an email I want to create. So let's say that I want to create an email for my SaaS give me leads. So what we do with our SaaS is to make it as easy as possible to build a list of leads. So this tool is mostly used by founders, by sales teams, and people doing cold or warm outreach. To promote this SaaS, we have a YouTube channel called Give Me Leads, and we release one or two videos per week. And what I want to do is to send an email 
to every single lead who started our free trial. So people who just sign up here. The email I want to send to these people is really easy. I want to say, hey, first name, we've made this new YouTube video about this pain that you face almost every day. You can click here to access the video. So very simple email and I want to do that. Now, if we go back to the email builder, I've just made a copy and paste of an email I want to send. So basically what I want to do with this email is that the people click on this link. So here we have a little bit of work to make this email real. So the first thing I want to do is to remove John and add a variable. So if I want to do that, I need to go here on personalize, then it's insert token, type contact, and the token is basically the first name because I want to say, hey, first name. Perfect, first name and fallback value is the text we put if we don't have a first name variable in contact. So it's useful if you don't have all the information of your contact. So fallback value, let's say there like, hey there. And now, as you can see, it's no longer, hey John, but hey, first name. So it's perfect and it will be personalized for each of my contacts. I like to add some spaces between the line, so I will do that. And now what I want to do is to add a link for this sentence. So we go here on the YouTube page, we click on the video we want to link, and then I just need to copy the link of this video. So copy. Then we go back to our editor and then we select the sentence. We click on insert link, link to URL. So it's perfect. And then I just need to paste the URL and then we click on insert. And then I remove this. All right, so now our email is almost perfect. I just want to add the thumbnail of the video just after click here to see the video. And why I want to add this, it's because I think that more people will click on the video because the thumbnail of the video is a bit clickbait. So if we want to do that, I will need to add two more sections. Just to show you why we need two more sections, it's because when I want to drag a video here, I can't say that I want video after click here to see the video. You see, it's at the bottom of our text section. So it's not a problem because I will add here the video and for this text, I will add a new section here. So let's add the text. So we do that here. And that's perfect because now we have the beginning of our text, the video I will just add, and then the end of our text. So I remove this. I copy this and then I paste it here. Finally, what I need to do is to click on add video URL and then on the left, I just have to paste the URL of my video. So here I have the preview of my thumbnail. I've just made the thumbnail bigger and on the bottom here, you have show as maximum width on mobile devices. I click here. So basically with this option, my thumbnail will look bigger and better on mobile devices. So if I review my email, I think that everything looks great. Let's see by clicking here how it looks on mobile. And now, as you can see, it looks pretty great. On top of this page here, you have the name of your email and let's rename it. And we can say export leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now let's say that I'm happy with this email. All I need to do is to go here on inbox and this is where I will write my subject line and I will write find leads stays navigator. Preview text is very useful because this will be used as the preview text that displays in some email clients. So with this feature, if you write a good text, you can have more email opened. So let's write learn how to find leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Perfect. From name is the name recipients will see. So Vincent Robbins, perfect. And from address and this one is perfect. Next, we click on send to. And this is basically where you can select to who you will send your email. So sending method is to a list of contact. Subscription type is what we've created before. 
and it's a new video. And now send to is probably the most important one is to who you will send your email. So you can select a list of contacts or you can select individual contacts. So let's say for this tutorial that I want to send an email to myself. So I just need to find myself individual contact here and this is my email address. Don't send to for this tutorial, it's not useful. Now advanced don't send to unengaged contacts. I recommend you to keep this option on on because it will protect the deliverability of your emails. So just keep it on active. Now let's move on schedule. So you can send your email now or you can schedule it for later. Of course, when you select schedule for later, you can select the date and the time zone. For this tutorial, I will keep send now. Now we click on setup. So here internal email name export leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. That's what we've just written here on top. Here template settings, we don't need to edit anything and automate, unfortunately, it's for HubSpot paid users. Once you've created your email, you select it to who you want to send your email. You've decided if you want to send it now or later. All you need to do is to go here on top and click on review and send. So what's good with HubSpot is that you have some warnings, you have some suggestions, and then you have the review of what you will do when you will send your email. So you have your email type, you have from name, from address, subject line, and so on. Here send to, you have the contacts or the list to who you want to send this email. And here you have the number of people who will get your email. So because I only add myself, I have only one recipient. Now you have two choices. You can send it now, or if you're not sure, you can click on preview. So let's click on preview to be 100% sure. So here on this preview page, you can see how it looks for desktop and here on the mobile device. So we can check, for example, that it looks great and that the variable works well. So hey Vincent, for Vincent, it's perfect. Now we have to go back to editing and then we click on send. Are you ready to send your email? The answer is yes and I click on send email now. So now on this page, we have the details of our email. Just to let you know that you have to wait a little bit before HubSpot sends your emails. So don't worry if it takes a little bit of time, HubSpot will manage it and will send your emails. If we go back to the marketing email page, we have our new email export leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator, delivered one because we had just one recipient and open rate is 100% because I've just opened the email. If you want to create a new email and you don't want to waste some time by creating an email from scratch, what you can do is to duplicate your email. And for that, you just need to go on the email you want to duplicate. So you go here and you click on clone. Then you write a new email name, for example, how to send cold emails, then email type regular, and then you click here on clone. And now, as you can see, I can use the previous email as a template, remove the parts I don't want, and just click on review and send, and then you see that it's much faster. Now that you know how to create, edit, and manage your marketing emails on HubSpot, it's time for you to send your first email on HubSpot. And now one more thing that might interest you, if you are not sure about which marketing or sales tools are the best for your business and for your situation, we've created a form that will help you to choose the best tool for your business. It's completely free. And if you are interested, you have a link in the description. And now it's time for me to wish you a nice day and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.